more we learn, the less clear cut it all becomes, and that's the ongoing charm of 18 days. Nothing is as we expect it. Noble heroes can do dumb things, villains can offer the hand of kindness, good guys can get bad breaks. The world of myth peels back to reveal the ordinary truths of life that lie beneath, as we ruthlessly expose the mistakes even the great and good can make. The essential ambiguity, humanity and realism of these characters set in this incredible world of the imagination gives 18 days its unique flavour. The tone is modern, gritty and emotionally real against the backdrop of techno-mythic super war. In the Mahabharata, the character's strength often proves to be his downfall or weakness. Bhishma is pledged to serve the kingdom at Hastinapura but ends up having to watch it fall. Yudish, a man dedicated to truth and law, must lie to win the battle. Arjuna, the ultimate warrior, balks at fighting his kin and lays down his weapons at the start of the war. The good guys in 18 days are forced to cheat and lie and break rules to win. Although it has fantastic mythic trappings, this is a very modern story of real politics and the failure of ideals in the face of harsh truth. This epic ends with the destruction of a super race of kingly humans and paves the way for the current dark age. Biggest armies ever seen face one another across the ultimate battlefield to decide the fate of the future. The stakes are absolute, the combatants are superhuman. It is the story of three generations of super-